Hello everyone, this is Public 9. A power nozzle throws a jet of water which is 50 mm diameter. The diameter of the base of the nozzle and of the approach pipe is 150 mm. If the power in the jet is 42 horsepower and the pressure head at the base of the nozzle is 55 meters, compute the vertical height to which the jet could be thrown upward, the volume flow rate, and the head loss in the nozzle. So this is the situation. We have a nozzle here and it projects this uh, jet of water to height h. Then these are the information. So first for the vertical height to which a jet could be thrown upward, uh, we have to write energy equation first between the base B and the nozzle tip N. So take note, there's no distance between B and N, so that is negligible in this problem here. So the datum should be through B, elevation 0, and it also passes through N because the distance between B and N is not mentioned, or in this case, we neglect it. So velocity head at B plus pressure head at B plus elevation head at B equals velocity head at N square velocity head at 10 plus pressure head at 10 plus elevation head at 10 plus head loss between B and N. The head loss between B and N is also the head loss in the nozzle. So, because this is water, so QB equals QN, so that means I will not mention pi over 4 anymore. 150 square times V sub B equals 50 square times VN. Because anyway, pi over 4 can be cancelled. So that means V sub B is equal to Vn over 9. Substitute into that equation. So V sub N over 9 quantity square over 2G plus 55 pressure head at least 55. Elevation head 0 equals V velocity head at N plus 0 pressure head because it is exposed to the atmosphere. Elevation head at 10 is also 0, then head loss from B to N. So the head loss from B to N is equal to 55 minus 80 over 81 times the velocity head in the nozzle. Since the power horsepower in the nozzle is given and the only uh, energy available at N is the velocity head at the nozzle tip, so horsepower at N is Q gamma water velocity head at N over 746 if we express gamma in newtons per cubic meter. So 42 equals pi 0 0.025 uh, radius at the nozzle tip square Vn, that's the charge, then gamma of water 9810 velocity head at N, the only energy available at the nozzle tip over 746 solving for vn we'll get vn equals 31.72 meters per second so therefore we apply kinematics here to solve for h we have velocity final which is zero we call this vn velocity final zero remember from dynamics velocity final square equals velocity initial square minus 2gh so 0 square equals initial square minus 2gh, then we can compute h equals 51.28 meters. Then having found h, we can now compute the volume, having found vn, we can now compute the volume flow rate or discharge pi 0 0.025 square times 31.72 and times 1000 to convert it to liters. So the volume flow rate or the discharge is 62.28 liters per second. And finally, the head loss in the nozzle. Uh, we already established the equation. So head loss in the nozzle 55 minus 80 over 81 times 31.72 square over 19.62 velocity head in the nozzle. So the head loss in the nozzle is equal to 4.351 meters. So I hope you were able to follow the solution.